disabled passenger, identified by police sources as Diego Vasquez, was struck multiple times in the head and body as he sat in the back of the car in Elmhurst just before 1.30 a.m. Pandemic porch thieves stooped to new lows, swiping goods and emptying boxes. Saturday the 31st of October 2020 18 hours 16 minutes and 24 seconds 0400. Pandemic porch pirates. They're a new breed with a new ammo, more brazen and pickier, ripping open packages, grabbing the priciest stuff, and leaving the boxes and bubble wrap behind. Adelaide Spence is a victim. So is Sebastian Shapiro, Alex Morton, Jennifer Chuzd and tens of thousands of other New Yorkers across the city who Nearly 400 revelers busted at NYC Halloween warehouse party. Saturday the 31st of October 2020 16 hours 27 minutes and 54 seconds 0400. It was a mostly maskless monster mash. A Brooklyn Halloween party with nearly 400 revelers was busted early Saturday for violating social distancing and large gathering rules, officials said. Using surveillance video, the New York City Sheriff's Department watched about 150 people enter a warehouse at 23 Meadow Street in Williamsburg before sending deputies to the scene. Uber passenger fatally shot after pit stop in Brooklyn. Saturday the 31st of October 2020 14 hours 14 minutes and 5 seconds 0400. An Uber passenger who requested a pit stop during his trip was shot and killed early Saturday in Brooklyn, police said. At some point during his ride, Sheldon Nyack, 32, asked the driver to make a stop on Avenue H between East 53rd and East 54th Streets in Flatlands, according to police. When Nyack got three firefighters hurt battling five alarm blaze at Auto Body Shop. Saturday the 31st of October 2020 13 hours 51 minutes and 11 seconds 0400. A fire raged through a school bus repair shop Saturday morning in Brooklyn, injuring three firefighters, officials said. The blaze erupted at the Logan Bus Company facility at 3432 Atlantic Avenue in Cypress Hills shortly after 7.30 a.m., according to FDNY Chief of Department John Sudnick. Stay-at-home mom Cindy Moner, 28, said she heard an paroled killer arrested in NYC subway shooting. Friday the 30th of October 2020 23 hours 59 minutes and 21 seconds 0400. A two-time murderer who'd been released on lifetime parole is back behind bars after she was arrested on Friday for allegedly shooting a man in the neck during an argument at a Manhattan subway station earlier this month. Police said, before being released just last year, Rona Love, 59, had spent 25 years in Ambulance flips in multi-car crash on NYC's Prospect Expressway. Friday the 30th of October 2020 20 hours 12 minutes and 12 seconds 0400. An ambulance flipped over in a multi-vehicle crash on the Prospect Expressway in Windsor Terrace, Brooklyn, on Friday evening. Photos and videos show. The smash-up occurred just before 5.30 p.m. on the expressway at the Fort Hamilton Parkway. One of the vehicles appears to have been rear-ended by a truck, while two other cars can. NY State Senator Mum about sister's creepy house across the street from him. Friday the 30th of October 2020 19 hours 36 minutes and 48 seconds 0400. Neighbors say they've been creeped out for months by an apparent concrete and plaster art installation in the front yard of a Brooklyn Row house owned by the sister of State Sen. Kevin Parker, who lives right across the street. Since last December, the front yard to the two-story brick home on Avenue H in. Homeless man dies after being set on fire during argument. Friday the 30th of October 2020 15 hours 5 minutes and 28 seconds 0400. A homeless man died more than a month after he was set on fire during a squabble over a scooter in Brooklyn, cops said Friday. Patrick Winkler, 46, who lived at a Manhattan shelter, was arguing with a man he knew at Schenectady Avenue and Rutland Road in Prospect Lefferts Gardens around 9.20 p.m. September 16. Man who spent 29 years behind bars for Brooklyn slang gets conviction tossed. Friday the 30th of October 2020 14 hours 21 minutes and 11 seconds 0400. 
A man who spent 29 years behind bars for murder had his conviction overturned Friday after the Brooklyn DOS office admitted a prosecutor withheld key information from his defense. I want to thank my mother for standing behind me, cleared Con Gerard Daumond, who has been out on parole since 2016, told the judge. Paul Rudd hands out cookies to Brooklyn voters waiting in line. Friday the 30th of October 2020 10 hours 1 minute and 31 seconds 0400. He gave out sweet treats to thank everyone for their patience. Bail reform, soprano star E.B. Falco front and center in Gennardis race. Thursday the 29th of October 2020 18 hours 43 minutes and 25 seconds 0400. The controversy over bail reform has emerged as the core issue in the most contested race for a state senate seat in New York City. Billionaire Ron Lauder's super PAC Save Together unloads on first-term Brooklyn Democratic State Senator Andrew Gennardis in a radio ad released Thursday for his support of a lie eliminating cash. Parents of Brooklyn teen shot in broad daylight plead with killer to surrender. Thursday the 29th of October 2020 16 hours 52 minutes and 24 seconds 0400. I ask them to find peace in their heart and that perhaps they turn themselves in so that he can be at peace Isabella Estrada, whose 17-year-old son Derek Tayushios was killed. Protester who allegedly assaulted NYPD cop arraigned released without bail. Thursday the 29th of October 2020 15 hours 53 minutes and 14 seconds 0400. Claire Haviland, 22, was among 29 protesters who were arrested Tuesday night as rowdy demonstrations erupted in Brooklyn at NYPD deploys robot dog after women shot during Brooklyn parking dispute. Thursday the 29th of October 2020 13 hours 42 minutes and 59 seconds 0400. A fight over a parking spot ended with one combatant's wife getting accidentally shot and cops later deployed a robot dog when the gunman holed up in a nearby basement. According to police sources and photos from the scene, the dispute happened around 10 p.m. Wednesday on Atkins Avenue near Sutter Avenue in Cyprus. Man scrawls anti-Semitic graffiti on window of NYC Juice Bar, cops. Thursday the 29th of October 2020 13 hours 41 minutes and 0 seconds 0400. A man scrawled an anti-Semitic statement on the window of a Brooklyn juice bar this week, cop said. The man graffitied the words, Syrian Jew W, SFKU on the very juice bar at Avenue P near East 2nd Street in Mapleton around 2.10 a.m. Tuesday before taking off. Cop said. The suspect captured on. Nine shot three killed in latest NYC gun violence, cops. Thursday the 29th of October 2020 11 hours 55 minutes and 13 seconds 0400. Nine people were shot three fatally across the city Wednesday and Thursday, according to police. Most recently, a 38-year-old man was shot in the right leg and left ankle. And a 47-year-old man blasted in the butt at Patchen Avenue and Van Buren Street in Bushwick around 1 a.m. Thursday, cops said. They. NYC Board of Elections way understaffed a large volume early voting sites. Wednesday the 28th of October 2020 19 hours 21 minutes and 53 seconds 0400. The embattled City Board of Elections mismanaged key facets of its early voting program, the Post has learned. Including allocating ballot scanners with little regard for demand and stuffing so many voters into balloting sites that it overwhelmed its system. The examination of the Post's preparations comes as thousands of New York City voters again. One teen dead, another injured after broad daylight shooting in NYC. Wednesday the 28th of October 2020 17 hours 19 minutes and 9 seconds 0400. A teen was shot at and another injured when a gunman opened fire on a Brooklyn street in broad daylight Wednesday, police said. A 17-year-old was shot once in the chest and once in the face around 2.30 p.m. in front of 436 East 26th Street in Flatbush, cops said. He was rushed to King's. One killed five injured as gunplay rages across New York City. Wednesday the 28th of October 2020 14 hours 47 minutes and 4 seconds 0400. 
five people were shot one fatally in three separate incidents across Gotham Tuesday and Wednesday, according to the NYPD. Most recently, Marvin Carraway, 34, was blasted in the head in the lobby of his own building on the grounds of NYCHA's Hughes Houses on Sutter Avenue near Mother Gaston Boulevard in Brownsville just Votatel taxi v cuins pogi v zasad 14 letna devoca postradales za rasta prestep nasties prime nenium orge in New York. 27 letnage passes ear coder of uis dojniki v policio preta lili cac diego vasques polusal nescol coder of pogola vitalu cog de sitil nazadnam city nevthimabila v elmhurst nezadolgo du 130 utra. Pandemia pirate.